What up everyone, Zonomar here coming at you with another video. Yesterday guys, we talked about the new lineup for CLG for the 2018 NALCS. This video is about the TSM lineup that I'm going to introduce to you guys. We're going to talk about every player and what I think of the synergy. We have a lot of moves. I think uh, the only guys remaining are Hanzer in the top lane and of course Bjergsen in the mid lane. Uh, so there's changes for the jungle and the bot lane. We're going to go through everything. Let's do this. So the first thing is, the first big move I want to say was a refresh in the bot lane. So, Afro, uh, no, not for move, uh, Biofrost and Double Lift were, uh, like, kicked out of the team, or maybe they left, I don't know. Double Lift went to Team Liquid, Biofrost went to CLG that we talked about. Uh, he's going to join uh, Stingsay in the bot lane. And they... Actually, like this is a move I love. Like I'm, I'm really hyped to tell you this, but Sven and Smithy and Miffy are going to be the bot lane for TSM. So basically, if you guys are not familiar, if you guys are American, you follow NLCS and not EU LCS. But Sven and Miffy are Miffy, Miti. I don't know how to say it. Whatever. Uh, they're the best bot lane in Europe by far. I want to say like they have such an interesting. Synergy, I'm sorry if I spit, uh, but Zven is just insane mechanically, like, he's so good, like, he, he, like, I don't know, he reminds me of Reckless when, at, like, at the beginning of his career, he was so much, like, above everyone else in Europe, but Zven is just so consistent, and the synergy with his uh, support is absolutely insane. So both are from Europe, they started their career at Origen, uh, Origen, or whatever, then they went to G2 Esports, and they started to win like, I think they won, like, two or three, like, championship there uh, for European. And ever since I discovered them and I saw them, because I'm not a fan of ULCS, I was like, this is one of the best bot lane I've ever seen. And we saw them against, like, uh, Koreans and Chinese teams, and they were doing actually really, really well. And I think it could be one of the secret sauce that TSM needs to perform at words or do better in the international scene and keep... Uh, dominating uh, North America as they did for so, so, so long. So, after that, we're going to find Bjergsen. I don't have a lot to say about Sven and Midi. Like, they're just really good. Like, there's nothing else I can tell. I expect them to dominate NA as the best bot lane because the thing, the, what's smart about Reginald Decision or whoever recruited them is that they recruit a support and a, an ADC together, right? So they come, they have experience, the laning phase is almost flawless. They just have to maybe work on the transition with team fight and who is going to be the shot caller, which I think is Bjergsen, to be honest, because he's such a team leader that I think it's him. So now they have to, like, they have, there's a new captain. Like, there's just a new captain. But in the laning phase, they can just do whatever they used to do in Europe. They used to work. When you see an example of, like, double lift moving to TL with a new support, they're going to have to build a synergy. They're going to have to play solo queue for a while. They're going to have to do all that shit. And it just takes time. And it just, like, it just, they're, they're just, like, they're not going to have the edge against the team that uh, bot lane has been playing for so long. Same thing with Biofrost and Stingsay uh, for CLG. They're going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of DOQ to just do it. And that's why it's so smart to like get the pair and not just one. Because when you get a pair like that that is good, uh, you can do so, so much great things. After this, we have Hanzer in the top lane, of course. We have Bjergsen in the mid lane, top tier. Hanzer... I mean, he is good and everything, but is it a playmaker? Does he deserve his spot to TSM? You guys let me know. I don't want to judge. Uh, I think he's really good. I think he's really talented, but um, maybe he's not like the playmaker that TSM needs to win words or to, to like do well at words. Because right now we're talking about that. Like Nobody cares about NLCS. I care about NLCS, but what we care is how they're going to perform at words, right? Like I don't think it's anything else than that. The jungle now, his name is... Matt Young, and he used to play for Phoenix One from May 2017 to November 2017, which is today. Uh, and he's going to join TSM as an American uh, player. We have two Europeans. We have Honzer, this Canadian, I'm pretty sure. And we have three European players in TSM, which is really insane when you think about it. So no Koreans. No Koreans uh, in the TSM squad. They're not going to import a player from Korea or China, uh, which... Which showed that it didn't work in the past, right? Because TSM tried that for so many times, but it just didn't work. Three Europeans in a North American team, which is so impressive now. I feel like we're moving into a system where Europe creates talent, Americans pay them better, they get the talents, and they just have a more entertaining scene. Which is kind of sad for European, for the scene, for like a pro in Europe, whatever. But let's see what 
Reginald has to say about all that. So on the website, he's like, wait, let me just do this. So my dream has always been to win worlds. This is why I created TSM. And this is what every decision I have made in the past several years ago has been made for. So you have to know that we come from a context where TSM just sucked. Like, at words, they literally sucked. And Reginald was like, I'm ashamed of things. And then I'm ashamed of saying that, but we just sucked. Like, we just bad at words. Like, they didn't go past the anything. They didn't do anything at words. They were just bad. Um... I came into the season uh, and doubled our budget to put together a roster that I felt had a real chance of doing this. We needed a shot caller, so I signed a shot caller. We needed a better coach staff, so I signed one of the best coaches available. Many of the TSM members living this year have become some of my closest friends, and they will always be my closest friends, whatever. It really sucked having to make a decision to replace them, but despite this, I will keep making those sorts of decisions and keep pushing hard to improve the team if it means increasing our chance of winning words. So, what I like about Reginald is that he's not saying I want to go to words and do well. He wants to fucking win. Like, he wants to win the world, and just for that, he has my full support. Uh... As a final note, both Svenskeren and Biofrost have found new teams to go to for next season, so stay tuned in for the information. Uh, not sure what Svenskeren went to um, CLG, I think, and Biofrost went to CLG as well. Not sure about Svenskeren, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, so Regional is really determined to win, because now it's like winning NLCS for them is not really impressive. It's like it happens once every two years, once every two seasons. So now they need to win words, but... They need, like, something. I'm not sure who they talk about as the shot caller. I thought Bjergsen was the shot caller, to be honest. But, yeah. I just cannot wait to see what this roster is going to bring to the NLCS. I'm pretty sure it's going to be dope. I cannot wait to see Sven and Misi in the bot lane talking with Bjergsen, which all are from Europe, which is, I think it's pretty cool, man. When you think about it, three Europeans in NLCS in one team is really, really cool. It shows a lot. It shows a lot. That's as simple as that. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to comment what do you think about this roster. Do you think that this team is going to go to Words? Do you think they're going to win Words against like a SKT T1 or like a Samsung Galaxy? Do you think they can actually make something concrete with this team? Let me know what you think about the bot lane, about the new jungle, and about Bjergsen and Hunter that will just stay there. Um, and yeah, let's talk about this in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Tomorrow or throughout the week, I'll make a video about other teams. But I'll see you for the next one, guys. Cheers.